right you guys I'm gonna make an attempt here to cut out my Colster holster cut out the excess leather prep it for dyeing and then dyeing it and you gotta be able to see on here these lines that I made this is where I'm gonna cut the leather so all this leather right here is going to be gone. That way whenever the gun is in, you can see that I'll still have the leather behind the slide. It's going to come right down here, come out here, the leather behind the grip will be gone. Now another thing too I want to point out is the mag release on this whenever it's in I always cut the leather out so that the leather is not behind the mag release as well because I think that if you move just right and that leather is against your body you could put enough pressure on the back of this leather here that it could pop that magazine loose I'm just not willing to chance it okay so I got a pair of uh, these heavy duty scissors or whatever you want to call them right here and I'm just going to start cutting this out as I get up here by the kydex this might start getting a little tight because like I say I want to get this cut back to where the mag release is going to be clear okay so now I'm gonna cut this down I just want to check this real quick. Let's see, the mag release is not behind the leather right there. It's now exposed. So now this leather kind of protects it from something being able to get up against that and push it and inadvertently release your mag. I cut this because I, I don't feel that there's a much of a need for all the extra leather and plus like I said in my other video I uh, don't like the leather behind my grip I just prefer it to be open it just makes it easier to grab so that leather's gone I wanted to keep the uh, emblem and you can see how the leather comes up covers this well I almost like I need to take that down a little bit more yeah I do so anyway, I'm going to keep cutting on this just a little bit more, and I'll be back as to not bore you to death. I'll be back with uh, prepping the leather and dyeing it. Alrighty. I cut that down in a way just a little bit more. It helped somewhat. So now you're ready to prep the leather. Um, I got this stuff at Tandy Leather. We have a Tandy Leather company here in town. And this stuff here is called a deglazer. It's kind of like a leather cleaner, is the way I understand it. It's pretty strong smelling stuff. But you just wipe the leather down with it. It gets all the oils 
and crap like that off of it so that the dye, whenever you put the dye in, will take and it will cover uniformly. You know, if you've got a spot that's got oil or something on it, a spot that don't, the dye can suck into the leather just a little bit uh, differently. That's what they told me anyway. I didn't know nothing about it. I'm just relying on what the leather people said. So I'm just going to wipe this down. As you can see, it, it evaporates and dries really quick. Now my other holster, I actually dyed the back of it as well. This one, I'm not going to do that. It's up against my body. Nobody's going to see it, per se. So, I've just decided just to leave that like that. So anyway, I'll tell you what, after doing that, now I wipe this on here. This is a lot slicker, a lot smoother. Rubs really good. Alright. Now before I blow the house up. Close that up. Now this dye here, this is uh how they call it Marine Corps Black. I don't know, but it's just a Phoebings, Flubbings dye. You can get the stuff online or whatever comes in a bottle like this comes with this little sponge applicator I want to shake it up I'm going to put a glove on one hand anyway I imagine if you get this dye on your fingers you probably like be wearing it for a week or two I'll just go ahead and put on two of them and when I did this on my last one, I mean, this is a pretty quick, pretty quick process, but uh, if you want to do multiple coats, you can. You'll see here in just a second how well this stuff covers it. It covers really good. Something I didn't do is wipe down these are the, these little pieces here. I don't think these are that critical myself. Okay. Now, I just take my die, dip it in my stuff, and then just start putting it on. That's all you gotta do. If you get some on your Kydex, it's no big deal. You can wipe it off or do whatever you want with it. Um, this stuff seems to dry and soak in pretty quick. Obviously you don't want to spill this crap anywhere. Probably wouldn't be, probably wouldn't be good. You just put the stuff on. Pretty easy. I know the first time I was going to do this, I was real apprehensive about it. It's like, man, I ain't never dyed nothing before. But uh, as it turned out, pretty simple stuff. I actually thought about, believe it or not, about trying to take a big sharpie and just coloring the thing with a big sharpie, you know. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't do that. Just kind of fill these in a little bit. Now, I'll get these edges. Edges aren't hyper, hyper critical, but why not? Getting a little dry. Mm -hmm. 
Now obviously you can dye this stuff in any color you want. You want to do it in brown, pink, yellow. If you can get the dye for it. Alright. Well, I had a little bit of a camera problem filming the last part of this uh, video. Didn't lose too much. I'll just reshoot this. My ending before wasn't even on the camera. I think I got a bad SD card. But anyway, this right here is the finished product. Um, as this gets worn and the dye dries and you rub stuff against it and stuff, this will kind of start to shine up just a little bit. But uh, you can kind of see right in here where whenever I was sliding the, the car in, the son of a gun lever right there, lock back lever, whatever, slide release, as it was sliding in, it kind of shined that up just running across it like that. But this is much better. I think it looks a lot better in black. I think it looks better having the cut um i just like it like that a lot definitely do so anyway thanks for watching y'all i do appreciate it hope the video didn't bore you to death hope it was instructional and give some of y'all you know that are a little nervous about doing this kind of stuff you know a little bit of pointers on on what to do what to get and all that kind of stuff so anyway y'all take care we will talk to you later Happy Easter tomorrow coming up. We'll see ya. Damn fucking whore bitch motherfucker. Yeah, if you just heard my cussing tirade, my video camera shut off and then started right back up again, so...